guys, how you doing? This is Paul, and when I first bought this keyboard, I would have never thought I'd be making a video on it. This is the ULAC wireless Bluetooth keyboard, and it goes for just $4.99, link in the description below. And the weird thing is that on the website, this is listed as a keyboard for just the Amazon Kindle Fire, but I figured that since it's Bluetooth, it should be able to work with any Bluetooth compatible device, and sure enough, it works just fine. At first glance, it's easy to mistake this for the official Apple wireless keyboard, or at least the older model of the Apple keyboard that now goes for around $40 to $50. So the question is, can this $5 keyboard compete with another product nearly 10 times its price? So let's start out with the build quality. And although it might look like it's constructed out of the same aluminum as the Apple keyboard, it's actually made entirely out of plastic. But to be honest, it's not too bad. It's solid enough so that there's little to no flexing when typing, and the rubber grips on the bottom prevent it from sliding around on the desk. It's powered by two AAA batteries that are not included, and supposedly features an intelligent power source management system to help conserve battery power, but I think that just means it automatically turns off when you aren't using it. The website doesn't give any indication of how long the batteries are supposed to last, but I've been using it for over two weeks now with no problems. Now setting this keyboard up is just as easy as pairing any other Bluetooth device. You simply turn it on, press the connect button, wait for your system to detect it, and enter the code on the screen. The layout of the keyboard is almost identical to the Apple one with the exception of the function keys. And of course it has the command keys. So while I haven't tested it on Mac OS, I think there wouldn't be any problems there. What makes the Apple keyboard one of the most popular choices among thousands of consumers is the typing experience. It seems nearly everybody loves the chiclet style keys. And I was worried that this might be the major drawback of the ULAC keyboard just how it feels when typing. But believe it or not, I found that I even prefer this ULAC over the Apple one. The keys are spaced out exactly the same, so there's nothing to worry about there, and I just love the way the keys feel. They're just a little more clicky and have a really great sound to them, slightly louder than Apple's counterpart, that make for a really satisfying typing experience. Here's a sound sample. And just for comparison, here's what the Apple keyboard sounds like. So you can judge for yourselves which one you prefer. Obviously not everybody is gonna go for the louder one, but my personal choice is the ULAC. If you like keys with a little more click, then this is a solid option. I can see this keyboard being a great choice for a variety of different people. For example, if you travel a lot, the small form factor allows it to fit in most bags and saves a lot of space. If you really want the extra clickiness, then this will suit your needs. And of course, if you're on a tight budget, I don't think you'll find something better for this price point. So in conclusion, I have no idea why or how this keyboard is only $5. And if you're thinking about buying the Apple one, I would highly suggest at least trying this one out first. And if you don't like it, you're only losing five bucks. And just so you guys know, this keyboard was not sent to me for review. I bought this with my own money and I just thought it was cool enough to deserve its own video. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this quick review. And again, a link to this keyboard will be in the description down below. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe for some more content coming soon. Thanks.